Welcome everyone to this video on doing a takeoff in Quantify. I have the takeoff screen opened and once I select the drawing I want, let's open up a lighting drawing here, I can zoom into a section and use a quick item pad for lighting. And quick item pads, if you're not familiar with them, is covered in another video we have. But now that I've selected it, I can see what every one of these lights are by hovering over them. And let's select one. It is a two length with a 10 foot drop length. This is an FR1 for a tag. And I left click and holding that, I drag around the light, release that, and then I have set my size. I can then keep left clicking around the drawing to take off all of these lights. And you can see I can do a couple of rooms pretty quickly. And once I'm done, I right click and that will commit everything down here into the audit trail. We can see I have all of the information in here. It is electrical, the tag is here, the description, the size and the quantity. Now, one thing I will point out is this location is set for second floor. In the breakdowns on the left hand side, we have all of the breakdowns. If you started with the template that we have out of the box, the default template, you will see these breakdowns. You don't have to start with the template. You might not see anything here. That's fine. You can create your own templates. But I had created uh, a few floors, first floor, second floor and basement, and I don't need those for this job. So I can delete these if I want. I can go into the basement and I can delete this. Now I only have the first and second floor. Likewise, I can add whatever, uh, let's say, third floor. And I can add this in here. And as I select it, when I do a takeoff, it is going to come up here under location because this is one of the breakdowns we have. If you've done this in the wrong spot, I can check off this item that I've taken off, which I can then select whether I want to copy it, reassign it, or swap it. Uh, copying will obviously make a copy of it. Swapping it is to swap out uh, this item or assembly with another item or assembly. And if I click reassign, that will bring up here and I can say that wasn't on the second floor, it was on the first floor. I will send that off and this will be updated. Now, another feature with Quantify is the ability to copy and paste. So if I select another lighting package here and I take off these four lights in this room, right click to commit, and then I'm going to hold down shift as I select these lights and I'm going to select all four. From there, I'm going to right click and click copy. Here, I can just paste them into these other rooms because they have a similar layout. Once I right click, that comes into the audit trail and we see I can click in the audit trail, the initial and then the subsequent takeoffs. You can also copy for single items. If I want, let's say this item only, I can right click and copy and paste it one at a time. You cannot copy pasted items though. You can't copy the individual items of a pasted item. So when I click any one of these, it's going to select all of them because this, these four lights here and here were copied from all of these four selections together. Next, let's take off some cable. And before we do that, we're going to want to set the scale on the drawing. Now the scale, if we set it up top here, is done from a known dimension. If I click the triangle and I select by left clicking on one side of the door, left click on the other, and I'm going to say that this is three feet, that will set our scale for this drawing. Scale must always be set from a known dimension and quantify because you don't know if someone else altered or manipulated this drawing in any way before you got it. You can go off of a door, which is a very common feature, maybe the lighting grid itself, maybe column widths. As long as you know what that dimension is, you can set the scale on the drawing, and then it doesn't matter if it's been altered in any way. 
Now that we have the scale set, we'll zoom out a little bit and we will select our quick item pad for conduit. I can select my feeder cable and then select the attributes for it. And then I can select inside this electrical room where I want this to start. And then I can move over to where I want it to run. And as you'll see on the right hand side in the bottom of the screen, the distance is updating as I move this around. I can left click to say this is where I want it. And I can keep going if I want, or I can right click to commit this. And then let's say I want to take off a junction box right here. I can right click to commit that. Similarly to the lights, maybe I want to select, hold shift and select the junction box as well as the cable, copy this and paste it here. Now maybe I want to go down this hallway. So pressing R, I can rotate this copied item. Select it here and right click to commit it. And we can see down here in the audit trail where we have both new junction boxes and all the wire that was brought in as assemblies. One of the powerful things about Quantify is its use of formulas. Similar to Excel, I can select this feeder cable, select a point to start and to finish it. And it has set the quantity based on our scale, but maybe I know that no matter what I put on the drawing, this is going to be equals 20 feet plus 10 foot drop. I click commit and we can see in the audit trail, this has been entered in as that 30 feet, 20 feet plus the 10 foot drop. So you can always override and manually enter in a length as you want it, or you can use formulas. And there are many other places, especially in the database where you can get into using and experiencing and manipulating the program with these formulas. They do become very powerful in the database, but that is definitely for another video. Finally, we're going to look at exporting drawings. And in the drawings menu on the left hand side, we have this extract pages to PDF button. By clicking it, I get a list of all the drawings I have. And let's say I want E4 and E5 to be lighting drawings. Once I click save, this will then create a new PDF that I can download either by clicking this link here, or it will also show up in our drawings list right away. Here are the two drawings. And if I go back to our estimate management screen and refresh this screen, it will of course be here as lighting drawings. Now, once I open up this file, we can see that here is E4 and here is E5 that we did the takeoff on. And if I zoom in here, I can see that, the, that there is all of the markup we've done. This is not only good for your own use, maybe internally, but also to submit with any bid submissions if you can, especially if you're doing residential work. This is a great way to submit your layouts, not just to protect yourself so that you can say, you know, this is the items I took off. These are all the, you know, lighting placements and everything that you signed off on, but also to help win the job with the client. You're giving him a nice marked up colorful drawing that he can see you've gone to all of the detail and work to make sure everything is there. So that's it for this video on doing a takeoff in Quantify. There are many more videos to watch and I hope you take a look at them all. If you have any questions or would like any more information, please reach out to us at info at